So musical talent really runs through this American family with the Osmonds scoring top 10 hits both across the pond here in the UK in the 1970s. So a fifth of the group, Jay Osmond, is now getting ready to appear in a new musical which is going to celebrate the classic chart-topping hits. Hello, Jay. Hello, how are you? Very well, how are you? It seems like yesterday we were here talking about my musical two years ago. That, that we that we put on. Isn't How did that, that go? Oh, it went so well. In fact, the producers of that musical have put together a brand new musical called Now That's What I Call a Musical, and it's uh, and I'm guest starring in it. And it is it is a feel good uh, sing along. Um, uh, if you love drama and if you love music, if you love the '80s. It's based in the '80s, and it's just a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful. Feel good show. It's it's two people growing up as friends, and they're they're uh, going to put together this big reunion, high school reunion, and all the craziness that goes with it, you know. But it's about life doesn't always go the way you want it to go. So put was sort of on top of that, you have hits that people love. Oh, all so, the 80s hits. Yeah, oh. yeah. Have you got any particulars that you, you know, yeah. stand out? Yeah, I've, I'm doing a couple songs, uh, Crazy Horses, of course, and then ah. Love Me For A Reason. But uh, but people people are on the edge of their seats. They just, they, it takes, it's like our musical. It takes you back in time. Is it all your music? It's, in, is it all your music? All the, no, no, it's all this? the 80s. It's based in the 80s, and it's about these two people that are, you know, that life does work out, but it doesn't always go as you plan. And, and, and it's very, uh, it's a grown-up storyline, but it's really a, uh, uh, it, uh, Pippa Evans wrote it, and uh, uh, Craig Revel Harwood, uh, Horwood, excuse me, is the director and the choreographer. And it's, just, uh, it's, it, it's going all over the UK and Ireland. It'll end up April 12th in, uh, in Wimbled Wimbledon. And my part is in Bradford in this coming uh, October 15th through the 19th at the Alhambra Theatre. They bring in different guest artists for this. And so I, I'm just honored to be in it. And it's just a, it's a fun show. Uh, people come out saying, wow, now that's what I call a musical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Jay, I mean, you're a, you're a seasoned performer. You have had years and years from literally from you were a child, effectively, yeah. on stage. Do you, do you miss having your brothers as sort of comrades who've been through it with you on stage? I Are do. there times when you... You, are, you think back on those times because you had an extraordinary bond at an extraordinary time. I do. I, in fact, when I wrote the musical for my my musical two years ago, I remember um, seeing those guys up on stage, and it, somehow your mind uh, plays tricks on you, and you think that's really my brothers up there, mm -hmm. and it's like I, I, I grew up with with having my we all grew up having each other's backs. And uh, I do miss my brothers. Um, it's a different dynamic, because you must yeah. know lots of people in the music business, bands, you know, yes. and they call themselves brothers. I mean, I'm using this loosely. It could be, you know, women as well working together. But it must be fundamentally different. I don't know how many, how many groups are there that were all related. Probably not many. Yeah. That's, a kind of, that's an unusual group you belong to, isn't it, of those, it really is. that particular dynamic? It really is. You think of the Bee Gees, maybe. I don't know. Jackson I don't know what you... Five. That's yeah. It, yeah, really. And yeah. we all grew up together, all of us, uh, with them. Did you? Do, have you ever sort of, you know, like you were saying about Jackson Five? Have you ever sat down with any of them and sort of compared oh, yeah. notes about oh, how? Oh, oh, of course. I, oh, I wish we had more time. But we I, have. We've got time. To... <laughs> we 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 grew up with them, and and uh, of course the Bee Gees were the brothers Gibb were our, our buddies. Morris uh, produced one of the albums for us, and. Um, uh, we were, uh, in fact, uh, when, when we were, uh, one day we were over watching the Jackson 5 and, and the MGM, and Michael said, I think you won, and we says, what do you mean? He says, I think you won the boy band. You're, you're the first boy band, because we used to watch you growing up on the Andy Williams show. That's what my, you know, they used to, their father used to make them watch us growing up, watch the TV uh, every Friday I, night. I tell you what occurs to me, though, Jay, is that anyone who knows anything about these groups and you know, the Bee Gees and whatever, you know, that, those dynamics sometimes throw up enormous clashes. Oh, boy. That can, that can wreck relationships. And, yes. and, you know, I suppose there's a massive upside to working with your family, and then it can cause real problems, can't it? Yes, it can. You know, and uh, 
And a lot of people, you know, in the music industries, you, 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 in the industry, you think you know, everybody's just having a great time and all, but there's a lot of turmoil within the industry. But, but there are a lot of friendships made too. And, and so, like even doing this musical now, uh, I, there are groups in there that, you know, that, you know like just songs that, that, that bring back memories. It's amazing what songs can do to trigger memories when for you, you. When you think back to the 80s, I was a child of the 80s, do you kind of have a song where you were like, I, that song, I remember wearing that oh. terrible outfit, <laughs> yeah. thinking I looked like the bee's knees, there's an old phrase. Do you have one? Tell me. I don't know. I, there are so many. I think... Uh, I think uh, Tears for Fears there's, was, was a great song, you know. Uh, but there are many songs that I, I don't know if I have an actual favorite. Have you got an uh, outfit that was oh, your favorite 80s outfit? Got a, yeah, there's a couple of them. Go on, tell me. What was the thing you kind of <laughs> well, completely bought? I used to have plaids. I used to love Checked. to wear check yeah. plaids and shirts. Yeah. Yeah. The lumberjack shirts were in a lot, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were. They were. It was a fun time. The 70s and 80s, I think, was a great time for everybody to have fun and to let their hair down. And But there was a lot of cha lot of challenges. Can and I that's see, what this musical talks about. Yeah, you're basically. working with lots of, obviously, younger people now from an entirely different generation. What's the most common Osmonds question you get asked when they, they know about your history? What's the, <clears throat> what's the one that always comes up? Do you still see each other? Do you still see each other? That's the big thing. You know, there are like 400 Osmonds now, you know, we, but we do get a chance to see each other a lot. And, uh, uh, but not as much as we'd like. You know, the, uh, we, oh, I wish we had a lot more time. I would love <laughs> to tell some fun stories. Uh, You'll about, have to tell us another time. Oh, we have the, to go. But, what, what I love about, about <sighs> this industry is that, that you get a chance to do what you love and to help and to put smiles on people's faces, you know? And, and, and that's why I love this musical so much because well, you can you know, you pe see people just remembering and having fun, you know? Well, uh, you lovely can see, see it's lovely seeing you, Jay. We, you can see Jay in Now That's What I Call a Musical. It's at Bradford's Alhambra Theatre next week from Tuesday the 15th to Saturday the 19th right. of October. It's a fun show. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much.